Hey there, class of 2020. Really miss you guys. I know you've got a lot of questions right now with all this information that's come out since school is now closed until the end of the semester. Uh, you've got all these documents that the superintendent sent out, lots of information. And what I wanted to do is kind of quickly go through, give you the Cliff Notes version of the important high points specifically for seniors uh, in this time and offer some help. So we're going to have three phases going on. Um, where we talk about the teachers are going to be posting the grades from before we left, a chance for you to review that, and then a chance for you to bring the grades up. So phase one, two, and three. So let's look at those in detail. Phase one is pretty much, you know, as we're making this recording up through Wednesday, April the 22nd, teachers are going to finalize those grades, get those in Aspen. We're going to get it posted as a digital report card for you. This is all based on your work leading up to when we left. So that is going to be your baseline grade. Uh, one thing I want to point out is that that's the lowest your grade can get. Nothing can bring it down. Even the assignments they're putting in now will not bring your grade down uh, at all. So be sure you check Canvas, check Aspen, check your school email. Uh, and if you need help with password resets, I can help you with that. Mr. Davidson can help you with that. So just be sure you're checking everywhere. We're trying to get a hold of a lot of people for different things, and sometimes we don't have great contact info. So if you're not getting information from us, make sure you contact us so that we can update that for you. Phase two, once we get all these grades posted, you're going to have a chance to look through your grades, see where you're at, and you're going to be able to pick two options. Option A means I'm happy with my grade, want to leave it as it is, I'm good to go, it's passing, I've got what I need. Option B, if you have some grades you'd like to raise, perhaps you have a B that you'd like to try to bring up to an A, or maybe you have a class that you're not passing that you'd like to pull up so you can graduate, um, you'll need to let us know which option, whether you're going to make improvements or you're going to let it stand. You have to pick an option, and we're going to be trying very fervently to get a hold of you. So it's important that you answer the phone, answer the emails, answer the, the texts, the reminds, the carrier pigeons, whatever we send your way. Make sure you give us an answer and keep in contact with us. Then phase three, once you've made your decision, those of you who have chosen option B, we're going to give you some different ways to bring up your work. It might be some makeup work. Uh, you just need to check in Aspen and Canvas and communicate with your teacher. All those contact options are on the school website for every single teacher, their digital office hours. Uh, but, you know, some teachers, you might be able to just redo some work. You might be able to do an alternate assignment. Um, if you get approval from Mr. Barry, if necessary, we can even look at maybe enrolling you into an Edgenuity class. Just keep in mind... With those, you're going to be pretty much starting at the beginning. So, you know, do what's best for you there. Um, some of you are seeing information about if you have extenuating circumstances that we can do an appeal on August 10th to 24th uh, and do work till the 9th. That's more so meant for the underclassmen because you need to be out the door. You need to be graduated, you know, to be counted as an on-time graduate. We need to get you going there you know, in May or at the very least, the very, very beginning of June. So um, we need to get you going, get that going ahead of time. Um, your spring grades will count in your GPA and your final GPA, final transcript that goes to colleges. Teachers will have a chance to add those extra points for honors and AP and all that sort of stuff, but that will happen at the very end. We'll do another post after you've had a chance to make up work, uh, like a quarter four post, and that's where when you look at the digital PDF of the grade card, that's where you'll finally see those extra points in there. Um, nothing that happens between now and then can make you have a lower grade than you had on March the 20th. So that's as low as it can get. Um, teachers will honor all the IEPs and the 504s. So let's go over some specific senior things. Seniors, uh, the state of Tennessee has decided to adapt the requirements for graduation. Right now, you have to have four math classes. So we're looking at, in most cases, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and then a fourth math, so like a bridge, or applied, pre-calculus, something of that sort. You need to have all four of your Englishes. Our ELL students, you know, you have the two years of ELL and then two years of regular English classes. You need to have three sciences. You need to have two social studies, and you need to have seven electives that are not one of those above classes. Everything else required for graduation is now suspended. So that's good. That's important. So keep in mind that list. Those are the classes. If you have any of those seniors this semester that you're not passing, you absolutely need to do that, especially looking at the math and the English. A lot of you have a, a fourth-year math or a fourth-year English that maybe your grade's struggling. Got to get that up so that you can graduate.
and we're going to work with you on that. Once the quarter three grades are posted, like we said with all the other grade levels, you'll have an opportunity to let each grade stand or to improve it. Nothing will lower it. Teacher office hours are posted, uh, but we need to get all the recovery work in by May 18th so we can close this out for seniors and get you graduated. May 18th is the end, so you'll have that May 1st to May 18th. Or if you contact the teachers, you may have some that will go ahead and work with you ahead of time. But that's going to be the main window for making improvements. If you decide you want to just jump the whole class and try to get into Edgenuity and start from the beginning, you will need to get approval from Mr. Berry, and I can help you with that information. Keep in mind, though, if you're an athlete who plans to play in college with the NCAA, NAIA, um, you still have to follow the NCAA requirements. So whatever they say you need to be eligible as a player, you still need that. So make sure you check with your university, check with your coach that you're going into, and make sure that you're still good there. Dual enrollment courses are still graded through whatever rules that university has set aside, even if it's a KCS teacher teaching it. So if you're taking dual enrollment English through Pellissippi, Pellissippi's rules are what stands. Whatever Pellissippi says, that's your dual enrollment requirements to get that grade. Um, these classes are run by the university, so you've got to follow their rules. So you'll need to check with Pellissippi or UT or whoever you're taking your dual enrollment through. If you decide you want to drop or take an incomplete, you will need to contact Mr. Berry, and it'd also be good to contact your school dual enrollment teacher, uh, your representative. Contact as many people as you can so you have the information because they are in control of that part. AP courses. Um, if you took an AP course in the fall, you made a commitment to either take the test or not. And if you made that commitment, you got five extra points already. So you need to follow through with that commitment to keep those five points or those could roll back on you. The spring, however, um, you're not required to take the test. You're going to get those extra five points for the AP courses. So as an example, AP Calculus, you had a fall and a spring. So the fall, you either committed to take the test or not. So you need to follow through with that. The spring part of AP Calculus, you're going to get the five points for the spring regardless. Extra points for honors, dual enrollment, and AP courses, those will be applied at the last posting of the grades after May 18th. We'll have another digital post uh, posting of the grade cards, and that's where you'll finally see those extra five or extra three points or whatnot that you get for those upper-level classes. If you need help, if you're looking at your transcript and you're thinking, I'm not sure if I've got the right four maths or if I've got four Englishes or does this science count or does this substitute as a math or a science, you know, am I good? I'm not sure. You know, when you look in Aspen and you look at the transcript part and you're counting through there, if you're a little nervous, Miss Dixon and I are going to be offering some online office hours so you can log in and we'll just go through your transcript with you. Um, Mom and Dad can join in on this. Mom and Dad can come in with you and mom and dad can ask us as long as they're one of your primary contacts we're good with that right now we're going to have appointment slots tuesday april 21st from 9 to 10 a.m and from 2 p.m to 3 p.m we're also going to do this thursday april 23rd from 9 a.m to 10 a.m if all these fill up we'll keep adding more but we're going to start there for now um, so we're going to have a google form on the website near where you find all the teacher contacts so you can sign up for a counseling advising session with miss dixon and myself so be looking for that that'll be posted by the time you are able to see this video if you have any questions be sure you check on the website uh, we've got a spreadsheet it's got every teacher's contact their email their digital office hours it's even got my google voice text so you can at least send me a text message if you've got something really urgent really pressing that you're really worried about and it's also got all those digital times that every teacher is available if you want to log in uh, on zoom and just check in with them and see how it's going and see what you need to do and just ask them you know what are your options for bringing up a grade whether it's making it passing or bringing it up from a B to an A. We're looking forward to hearing from you. We can't wait to hear from you, get uh, input from you about what you're going to do, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for all of you guys.